Hello and welcome to my channel. Have you ever wondered how big a traveller's notebook could be? Or perhaps they're meant to be no bigger than an A5 because they're, tra they're for travelling with and you, you carry them around with you in your bag, in your case, in your handbag. I don't know. But uh, the question arose in my head and I thought, how big can a traveller's notebook be? So I looked on eBay and I looked on Pinterest and I looked on Etsy. You name it, I looked. The biggest I did see was an A4, a leather one. And I thought, OK, Lynn, you're going to have to make one for yourself. So this is what I've done. This is my rather large, it is an A4, traveller's notebook. Has lace has beads, has more lace. If you can see the spine, there are two bits of where the, the um, actual ties of plastic goes through. There's one there and there is one underneath the top one, which is right up the top, can't quite see. And inside I have four <laughs> A4 exercise books. So let's open him up and see what he shows. I put the lace on instead of, um, you know, instead of putting the elastic rounds like they've, they've normally got on them, haven't they? So I put the lace on this one just for a change. So it opens out. And what you do is you pull your lace right round. because it opens up the front cover. Now this is going to be really difficult to get all this in shot because it is rather big. Anyways, I made it pockets. There's a pocket in the front and there's a pocket in the back. What I've actually done is I've put two pieces of material together. There's cardboard in there and there's wadding in there. So it's sort of a padded cover. It also has, as you can see, the spine. So that was an extra bit that I put in between the two main pieces so that I could put the holes through and have it, as I say, as a spine to the book. So in this pocket, it's just a little notebook for drawing in. Bit of material. You might have seen it from one of my other traveller's notebooks. And I thought, oh, it'll suit this one. It can go in this one. So he sits in there in the pocket. And then what I've done, the dashboards, I've even got dashboards in it, which is just a, a print off of my art and laminated. Nothing on the back shirt, I can add pictures. So look, I've got loads of sayings and quotes here. Perhaps I can, oh, and there's the bedroom I actually want <laughs> one day. You know, you can put anything on these and stick them on wherever you want, just to pretty up the dashboards. Everything's a work in progress. This one is no exception. So what it was, I'm, I'm actually um, trying to teach myself how to understand German or speak German and read German and sort of thing, English to German. Anyways, so I'm doing it on Duolingo and it's brilliant, I'm having such fun. But what you have to do so I started the, the German in July, 19th of July. I'm still going. And all the way through, what I did was I wrote out in pen the German and then I wrote out in pencil the translation so that I could understand what I was up to. And there are pages and pages, clearly. Was doing it every day then it's slacked down a bit and it's once or twice a week now but i try and have a good session and uh oh, i think i'm picking it up there's a lot of writing which is good i don't mind writing so that's fine but obviously i needed a nice big a4 so that i could get it all out on and it, it was understandable so yep even pictures that's one folder and i've got some pretties that i've printed off and coloured on there, put as a folder. Then there's another dash there, because that's the back of 
the first one. More of my artwork on the dashes. Let me go on to the next one. You can see I've got elastic in there. It's not very tall. It's not very, you know. I won't say it was sturdy. I mean, they're in. They're tied up. They're not going anywhere, but obviously they're bigger books. So more artwork. Plain bits. Still to work on. And then I get into my second book. And this one's going on and on and on. Because <laughs> I've been quite busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to learn. I'm picking it up. Let's see, where did I get up to on this one? I don't think I haven't finished this book. There we go. 24th. We're getting close now. 24th. So that was my last entry. 24th of this month. So I've got a bit more in there still to use up, which is good. You get to the back dash. I love these books. They, um, they're called Soft Touch. Uh, they're by Oxford. Uh, I obviously just ruled notebooks. More dashboards. Ready to stick things on. You could even put pockets on here. You can put material pockets. You can put um, paper pockets. You know, all you've got to do is put a pocket in, then you stick it down on three sides and you've got your pocket. Lots of options, lots of ideas. And this was, my third one was just words. So I thought what I'd do is, <laughs> instead of sentences that I've been learning, I was just picking out the words this time to see if it would help. But it's all, every time I write it down, I'm sure it sinks in a bit further. So that's what I've been doing there. There's numbers, more words. There's days of the week and months. Obviously didn't do much on that one. Now this was one that was confusing me slightly because it, within German they do, there's a female, a male and a neuter. A neuter, I suppose that is. So, you know, you, you make, men are male, obviously. Females are female. But girls are neutral, but boys are male. It, just, it takes some getting your head around it. I'm getting there. Then I did plurals. So you can see what I've been doing in this one. So plenty of room left in that one. Still to go. And I should need it. <laughs> I'm writing everything down. That'd be the back of the dashboard on the yellow one. More of my artwork just printed off into A4 and laminated. And the back one is a totally empty one. So I can do whatever I like in that one. Nothing in there at all yet. But I thought, well, I'll get them in. Dashboard to close. And there's the pocket for the back sheet. And there's some little print offs I've done. Um, it's the besties, isn't it? Which I'd been doing before. Pocket. Put whatever you like in there really just for if i want a bit of a change from writing i can do a bit of coloring and the book or the traveler's notebook closes over the actual material um i've got printed off through pinfrab pinfrab i'm sure it's called that um i send my artwork in i tell them what material i want it on and they print it for me and send me it. It's really clever. So there you go. Not too long. Quite chunky, as you can see. And he's got four books in him, plus a little one, plus some pictures. And then his lace, when I get it round the right way, goes all the way round. Yep, round to the front. Put the top bit down. Do him a bit of a bow. Put some beads on it just to weight it a bit. And there you are. Is that the biggest traveller's notebook you've seen? It was fun to make. It was different to make. And I do love making things. And sharing. This is what I'm doing here. I'm hoping I'm giving you some ideas. And you can do your own traveller's notebooks. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have about six or seven of the leather ones that I've purchased. But I thought this time, 
I'll make one. And that's what I did. If you saw the tabs at the top, just on each of the, the main books, all different tabs, bits of ribbon, bits of Bibling cards there. But uh, something different again. Do you like to be different? Hope you're having a good day and do enjoy your weekend. Please give me a thumbs up if you've liked this. Leave me any comments or anything you'd like to see that I might have within my craft room that we can find and show you. And uh, do subscribe to the channel because there's always more to come and there's always something different to come. So it's bye-bye for now.